Good morning. Well, it's 4 a.m. now. Not sure it's really good morning or good night. But it's time to go for the balloon ride. So let's get up. We are waiting at the hotel lobby for our ride which will take us to the Belun airport. It will take us a bit more than half an hour to reach the Belun airport which is at the West Bank very close to the valley of Queens. We reach the airport while golden hour has already started. Too bad that we can only use the mobile here. And important to know that we are not alone here. There are literally hundreds of people who will participate in this exciting activity of ballooning over Luxor. The sky started burning with bright orange color while everyone waits to get a go from the flight control. Balloons are all spread long as a preparation. You will see later, those balloons are absolutely massive. All set, just wait for the go and they will start the ignition. And we have a go for our balloon. Priyanka is excited and Ricky is a bit surprised. Finally, we go into the balloon. And more fire to pull us up. Needless to say that we are not the only ones. There are several other balloons that are getting inflated. Busy time for everyone. And we have a lift up. We are the first balloon to hit the sky today. Goodbye balloon airport. Valley of Queens, here we come. Thank God I can finally use the camera. Something I can operate way better than the tiny mobile phone. After this, there will be no narrative till we get down. Just enjoy the show.
So, what do you think? Finally time to get down and it is another busy moment. Lots of people, cars, trucks follow the balloon to the landing location and the pilot carefully lands those massive giants. After landing, there are many, many people all around. And it also includes those little pony boys who are there to sell a pony ride. Fascinating how those massive balloons are deflated. There are different techniques for different sizes of balloons. Some are pulled by the rope to get the steam out. Some smaller ones are molded once it touches the ground. Now getting out of the balloon basket is also a thing. Priyanka is struggling a bit as the basket is too high for her. But finally made it safe. Whereas Ricky is a fit young boy and made it very easily. A final goodbye to the balloon airport and our helpers were very happy to give us a warm farewell. And we got our certificate of hot air ballooning. So that concludes our balloon ride in Luxor. An amazing experience. Now before ending this episode, I'm gonna go back to the hotel room and gonna tell you some tips and tricks about how to do that the best way. And in that, you are going to get that how to get great pictures on doing this balloon ride. So see you there. Okay, so that went pretty well. Last couple of times when we came to Luxor, we did not do the hot air balloon ride. And to me, it was a mistake. The view from up there, especially at sunrise, was spectacular. It is something that you should absolutely experience. Now, if you want to do the same activity, there are a few important things to consider. First thing is going up at sunrise. That's the most important part of it. There are other balloon companies who go up just after sunrise, especially in the winter time, it's a little bit hazy in the morning. So if you go up after a certain time of the day, you are not going to see a lot. It's going to be haze everywhere and it's not very interesting. So it's very important that it's a real sunrise balloon. So when the sun is coming out of the horizon, you are up there and enjoying that view from the balloon itself. So we took this hot hot balloon. I'm going to put their website in the description below. But there are other balloon companies who go up at sunrise as well. But important thing is that contact them and make sure it's a sunrise balloon and not something else. Now next part is photography. Now photography in Egypt is always a little bit of tricky thing. Depending on whom you ask and whom you talk to, you might hear different rules. Some will tell, looking at your camera, that it's a professional camera, you need a special permit from this and that, from God or whatever. And some others will just let you go with a little bit of photo ticket or whatever. Now for the balloon ride, what I understood is that taking picture at the balloon airport is not allowed but I've seen a lot of people taking picture with mobile so I did the same, no issues. Our guide said that I'm not supposed to take out the big R6 out at the airport. I didn't do that, I kept it in my bag, I took a small bag for that and when we went up I took it out and took whatever picture videos I need, no problem at all. But what I would recommend is that knowing and having that bad experience of Cairo, take a backup option. Just in case somebody take your camera off for whatever reason and say it's professional permission and this and that so that you do not go up without any camera. So it's very important that you have a backup option like GoPro, a, a, a small camera, and a phone or whatever. Like for me, I kept that DJI Pocket 2 in my pocket so that if something goes wrong, they take my camera or whatever, I at least have something to take some pictures with. Thank God that did not happen. I could use my camera, no problem with that. So that's it. I thought that I'm going to give you some tips about how to do this trip if you are interested in doing the same. And if you are into photography, you will also get some information. So that's the end of this sweet and short video. If you have enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. That means a lot to us. And if you have not subscribed already, 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ आर अपकमिंग वीडियोस चाओ फॉर नाउ एंड सी यू एट अस वन